Hi there, I'm Mark Bessie. I'm here with Simon Dunmore, founder of Glitterbox and Defective Records. He has over 40 years of experience within the music industry and I was lucky enough to uh, get to collaborate with Simon on making a piece of artwork that celebrates his career and his involvement within the industry. I actually first saw Mark's work when um, when I came down to Brighton actually and I went to the Enter Gallery and uh, his work was displayed on, on, on the walls and uh, uh, I was like wow that, that looks amazing and um, so I was really unaware at that point um, but then once you become aware of something you start to see things you know more obvious they so kind of come into your vision and I started following on Instagram and, 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 uh, and stuff and then um, as we kind of came out of lockdown maybe a year out um, Simon Dawson that was for Defected said oh I've been speaking to Mark Vesey and, and, and he'd love to do a collaboration with you and I was just like I just decided that I was going to stop DJing and I've been DJing collective music for 40 years um, and it just seemed like a perfect way to kind of tell my story of my musical journey, my, my musical DNA, uh, records that have uh, inspired me, records that I've bought, I've collected, uh, records that I've played, records that I've danced to, records that I've signed. I mean, everything that I've been involved with in terms of my musical career is actually just encapsulated in the piece that Mark has, has, has shot for me. Yeah, I, I think Keith Herring, for me, has always been one of my art heroes. Um, ever since growing up, um, I loved his work and it really spoke to me. Um, and I know that his influences within music and how it ties into the thread of, that, of, of music and art and how it brings everyone together was something that um, I know probably relates to Simon and yeah, and I think, I mean, like you said, Keith, Keith Herring's work is universally loved from, from a young age or to really serious collectors. I mean, his, his, his works go for like ridiculous amounts of money. But for me, it's the cultural association between art and club land, the fact that he kind of body painted Grace Jones and hang out with Larry LeVan. And, you know, if there's one era in, in my life that I'd love to go back to and be able to plonk, plonk myself in the middle of a dance floor, it's the Paradise Garage. And obviously he hung out with Basquiat and Warhol. And for me, that's the, the zeitgeist of, of New York in the 80s, uh, culturally and creatively. And uh, um, so he just, you know, unfortunately he died young. And when people die young, it makes them almost like even more iconic. Um, so he just, he's just, uh, I mean, for him to be so popular and omnipresent now, it's just a testimony to his work, really. Uh, well, I asked Simon to basically put together about 100, was it 150 records total uh, and to, to be able to then draw from those records. Um, so that process was, I gave it to Simon to kind of, to sort of sit with and, and reflect. Yeah, and, and I looked at a lot of Mark's collections and, and you know, and, and actually um, when I pulled out the, the records, I, I mean, I spent two weekends pretty solid going through my records and looking at the spines of records obviously it's a you know it, it, you know sevens i've collected or twelves i've collected that don't have spines wouldn't work within the concept of the piece um so it, you know the piece of, of music had to have a spine and then they had to work together you know there was no point in them all being very very similar there had to be like a diversity of, of color culture labels artists vocalists you know, as I said earlier, records that I've, I've, I've collected or signed or a and r uh, uh, they're all personal to me in, in different ways. So almost every record in that piece I can tell a story about. Yeah. And I, I got to hear that when you came to my flat and we sat down and we kind of went through uh, the, the collection and hearing those stories and kind of looking at the spines together, um, kind of like it brought, brought it together for me and then I was able to sit and um, just look at how they all worked and, and fell together um, and played with the spines so that I was I ended up with, with what we've got now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and music, you know, music's personal to people. People fall in love, people break up, people have the best times of their night. They, they remember great holidays, you know, they, whether they were at school and whatever, and, people, and they bring back such strong... Uh, memories for people and, and, and stuff and then looking at looking at what you've what you've shot I'm looking at looking at it and just going 
just smiling because it just brings back such great times. Um, so, uh, and, and uh, I mean, it's, just, it's almost like a visual playlist. Um, and I think you nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> we both did. <laughs>